they think, you know, it's cancer now, it'll be um, autoimmune disease and other immune inflammatory related diseases moving forward where all of that, you know, there's decades and decades of basic immunology research are really starting to translate into meaningful benefits for patients. What are you most excited about in terms of the future of immunotherapies more generally? Um, it's it's a, a good question. I mean, I think the, the there is uh, an opportunity in, for example, the oncology space um, to really take what has been achieved so far um, and, and really build on that to have something that is much more effective and can be used in a whole uh, broader range of circumstances. Um, so we're still really in the very formative stages of you know, CAR T cells, um, you know, uh, antibodies that are targeting negative regulators of the immune response, PD-1 inhibitors, those sorts of things. They haven't been around for that long, you know, mm -hmm. yet somehow they've become really a, an accepted part of the treatment process. Mm -hmm. But just recently we've developed a, a, a new therapy where they can have a, a self-administered uh, injection once a month and they won't have any attacks at all for the most part. So. Um, hopefully that'll translate into a, a whole new way of life for them where they're, you know, they're much healthier and can lead full and normal lives.